Hi there, welcome to the Beetle Breeding Channel Lamprima Adolfinos. Some work to do. I should check again this box here where I already took out 20 lorry and I placed them in a kimchi bottle uh, around one and a half months ago. Originally two females and one male were in here and we have seen, and you can check it out if you go back in the playlist that there have been a lot of them here and let's make a second uh, check now and try to take out most of the lorry and place them in nice kimchi bottles. You know, kimchi bottles, nothing else than a wood based substrate grown three through with the mycelium of a mushroom here is Pleurotus pulmonarius and as you can see they also uh, make some beautiful fruit bodies here that you also can eat so that's yeah, one of the ideas behind the project food from wood that you use wood based plant material to produce mushrooms that are edible and then you produce uh, insect larvae that are edible also for humans. Like also Lamprima is a stag beetle, so most stag beetles are edible uh, insect. As you can check in a list of the FAO where they have uh, found more than thousand species of insects that are historically uh, noticed to be edible or have been eaten in earlier uh, times. As you see already in other videos, normally I just remove some of the upper part of the kinch bottle because here I uh, put in the inoculum, it's kind of a grain spawn and if this is, gonna, uh, is going to rot, that could happen, so this would give a bad smell and it can also emit toxic gases that are dangerous for the uh, larvae. So that's about the thing. And I uh, have different sizes of bottles also. If you want to know how you do this, bottles just uh, go through the playlist uh, Kinchi. There you can see an instructional or some instructional about how to make this Kinchi bottle. Because it's a nice thing to have it in a pet bottle. Why? Because you can check it very easily from outside what's happening inside. Mostly you see the larva eating inside of the bottle because it goes round and round or to the bottom and then you see the traces uh, where she eats herself through the substrate. So that's about it. And now of course the most interesting thing is to see whether we find some larvae here. The smaller ones I will put in the smaller bottles, but if I find a big one, I will present the bigger bottles for them. Also, we need, of course, a little hole in the lid of the bottle when we close it, because uh, there should, should come some air into the bottle also. So, let's see whether we have a box where we can... Yeah, there it is. That's it, yeah. <coughs> so here. So. Most of the larvae found inside a big piece of oak. Like a, a little bit like this one here. So I guessed that there should be more in here because if there are some, there must be also more. But this is uh, the hard work for also the larvae. This is the hardwood of the oak and probably uh, if we could open it we probably can f would find some larvae here but this is practically impossible to open without killing the larvae. So this one we just leave like it did and we have a nice piece here also that we can go through, open it. Look, here's a nice big one. Uh, here's another one. Look, it's made to powder the whole thing here. 
and I just present to you this big beautiful lottery of Lamprima Adolfine. They are really big now here. Look, they are not only one or two, there are many of them in this little block here. So what I do, they just go into this piece of bottle here. They, because they are big, they also need big bottles. So I have to present them some really nice uh, kimchi. And I know that people sometimes they write, why did you stop at 10 minutes? <laughs> Uh, because I uh, mostly I think yeah it's not interesting to watch me going through the substrate for hours but there are also people who said no do that I want to go with you, with you in real time even if it takes half an hour or longer so let's see uh, how fast we are this is bottle number two here okay, I'm preparing for one of the second of this big Lamprima Adolfine. Of course they will dive down into this substrate now very quickly and um, also after some time you see them making their traces around the whole bottle and if it, everything is going well here we will see a nice Lamprima adult in around uh, four months. So that will today is June. This month is June, so it will be July, August, September, around October. We probably will see nice Lamprimas here. So they don't like it if it's too much light, of course. Yes, we have now three pretty big ones. But I see here there are some more. So probably I just first I take out the cat, the um, the lorry, and then I can uh, check how many of the big boxes now I need to uh, place them. But I can already guess that I need some more bottles. But I have. Normally, if I produce these bottles, I'm making about two dozens in at one time because the most uh, time-consuming work is to fill the bottles and if you do it a uh, hundred times it goes faster normally so now let's see here it is really complete it's like a powder it's not oh wow look they just fall out here this is the one beautiful big one uh, just fill it with some of the original oak powder here. Yeah, uh, here's a big one. Now I can put it in a small bottle because they are so big. They really need also big uh, bottles with kimchi. Otherwise, they cannot develop into major males. So here probably sometimes I feel that the upper part is too much uh, filled with the fruit body mycelium of the of the mushroom or it's a little too wet like this here. So if it's too wet I don't take it at the moment. I just let it dry a little bit. Sometimes some mushrooms arrive and then you can close it later again. Uh, to prepare for the lobby. You see here in the background I have another box of kimchi bottles that I now can prepare for this Lamprimo uh, lobby. That are pretty big, so how heavy are they now? This one is uh, 4.4 .4 gram. That's not bad because Lamprimo is not a huge uh, people but if they are now around five or six or even seven grams that could be a big one later on so uh, even though people say I should show the whole thing I think we make it 
we shorten it up now a little bit. I take out all the lorry and then later I will prepare the bottles for them. Look, it's so beautiful, big one here. This is 4.7 grams. I mean, this is a really nice wood, of course, it's from oak, that's the perfect wood, oak with shiitake mushroom in it. That's why we find so many larvas in this piece. And this, this larva here, it went into the hardwood, so this is really hard to take it out here, because that's, yeah, practically undestroyable at the moment. And as you can see, this. The, the soft wood is removed completely and we are already here on the on the border of the soft wood to the hard wood. So that's here's another one. Already a little bit inside of the hard wood. So this is practically not possible to open. If they don't want to go out, they don't come out. So better we leave them in here in peace and quiet and come back uh, later. So all this material here, I think um, here in the bottom of the box we will do, we don't find any larvae because even though it said that they happen also in flake soil, Lamprima, if they can, they hide inside of wood and that's the plate where we find them if we have a nice wood block like for example these two here that are now immediately placed back cover with the original material and then we come back here also in three to four months probably we already see the beetles then here because they also can pupate in this substrate of course and if they have a safe place inside of a, a good wood piece they come out themselves uh, later on thanks for watching mm -hmm.